so in this video repairing a, a depot boost gauge I think the depot gauges use the same senders as Glow Sport and Pro Sport so this is a gauge here hopefully it's you can see it on the camera and basically the issue before was it would not uh, show anything the, the needle was uh, stuck at oh, I don't even know where it was at the bottom it wouldn't register anything it wouldn't move I put a multimeter on it and it didn't uh, move the multimeter at all there was no uh, no signal coming out of it at all so what I've done is I've ordered a uh, boost sender from Aliexpress which is uh, supposed to be for Greddy and uh, Defi gauges I'll put a link to it in the video description it, it looks the same the only issue with it is the connector is different so what I've done at the moment I've just done a little patent a little little uh, bodge job on it just to get it working and what I want to see is if it if the needle looks like it's giving accurate information ie uh, with the ignition on and the engine off that the the needle is at zero that it's at around uh, 0.2 0.4 at idle and then obviously when it's in boost it uh, reads something so so far everything seems, seems to be all right it's giving me plausible numbers on the boost gauge let's just put the uh, hazards on here and I just want to switch off the uh, engine And then just see what it's like with the engine off and you can see it's just a little to touch above zero so that probably equates to like a 0 0.1 bit less than the 0 0.1 on uh, the vacuum so that's like 0 0.5 0 0.4 so let's get up let's get onto this road give it a bit of gas and we'll see what boost well it's not going to get all I'm not going to be able to get all the boost here it's saying half a bar of boost and it feels plenty quick enough so I'm thinking maybe it's under reading at the top it feels a bit quick the car for half a bar which is what it's given me here I think stock it's about half a bar and they're nowhere near as quick as this it does get up to one and I am out of the throttle quite a lot I about 50% throttle so I think it's going to be in the ballpark maybe if I gave it full gas it will go up to one and a half so I'm going to call that a uh, win for now so the next step is to uh, plumb this in permanently I'll show you the difference between the original uh, boost sender and the boost sender that I ordered what the difference is and how I'm going to change the connector okay so this is the uh, the sender is here uh, and it's it set up in a different way as I said the connectors are different the connector on the ones you find on Aliexpress the clip points inwards on the original depot one the uh, the clip points outwards so first of all um, what have I got here I've got the red is the grey so basically it's like that I need to remember how these go and basically what I'm gonna do is deep in this connector off this cable and put this connector onto the end of this cable and hopefully that will work hopefully the uh, pins in this are the same as the pins in this so to deep in the connector I've got a load of these this is not going to be anything special for this it's just a uh, simple uh, thing here which basically I should be able to push in and then the, this case these will um, pull out from the back that is the plan so have we have we got any here we've got one we've got the okay we've got them all nice we wanted to go uh, red black white 
red, black, white is how we want it to go in here. Do these pins look the same? Not really. At all. So that's a problem, isn't it? Let's give it a try anyway. The good thing is, these are smaller than the others. So there should be a clip on here, which is what releases them. So you want red, red, black, white. It doesn't seem to want to know. No, that's bad news, isn't it? So now I'm repinning this. I'm going to go to plan B. Oh, they don't want to stay in there now. So at this point, the uh, using the connectors is a no-go. So basically what I do here is I just hardwire it. I hardwire the the red, the white, the black that you can see here into the uh, end of the pigtail that comes with the sender from AliExpress. Uh, basically, I just uh, strip the ends of the wire, twist them together, put some heat shrink over it, and that's it. Job done. So that is what I did here. I was hoping to use the connectors. If I could have done this like this, you know, deep in the one, and then use the connector for the new sender, that would have been uh, perfect. But as it worked out, the uh, as you can see, the connectors are different, the pins are different, so that wasn't possible. So in the end, I had to hardwire it. So on this car, on the sender I got, the red was the red, black goes to black, and white goes to white. The colors were the same. It's just the, um, the white on the uh, glow shift, Pro Sport depot boost gauges in the middle, whereas on the uh, the senders that you get for the Defi, the Greddy gauges, or the ones that are advertised as such on AliExpress, the red and the black are together, and the the white is on the side. So that is what I did. So as I said in the video, with the ignition on, it seemed to be reading a, a tiny little bit high, which is better than it reading too low. So all in all, uh, I'm happy with a sender. It's on there now. It's working. Um, and that jobs are good and the reason I did this the sender for on the Aliexpress ones are something like uh, seven dollars eight dollars Whereas the uh, the depot replacement ones and the glow shift replacement ones. They're like twenty four dollars or something twenty five dollars If they weren't going to be the same if the numbers weren't very close on the gauge obviously I would have got the uh, the actual sender for the gauge but i'm happy enough that the the difference is near enough as makes no difference so that is what i did as always if you enjoyed the video please vote on it subscribe look after yourselves and i'll see you again next time